stolen crown. Part one. Tao family went to see an old castle. Most of it had fallen down a long time ago. It's just a film, said Chap. Keeper wants to climb on a wall, but Dad said no. We must look after all regions, he said. Once upon a time, it was a big castle, said Beth. I wonder what it was like to live here. Mom found a good spot of picnic. Floppy saw a rabbit hole. He began to dig in the ground. Chip saw something shining in the dirt, so he picked it up. It's a glass bed. Bed, he said. I wonder who lost it, said Biff. Chip looked at the bed. Throw his magnifying glass. Then he put in his pocket. Don't think it valuable, he said. Later, Chip came into Bill's room. He had a book about castle. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The magic took Beef and Chip back in time. It took them to the castle. Some people were waiting outside a big door. An improvement man came up. I am Lord Ken, said the man. Where is your present for the prince? Beef and Chip didn't have a present. Think of something, Beef. Chip said, "Beef, er, we'll have a magic glass." Said Chip. It make small things look big. That is a good present," said Lord Khan. "The present will like it." Put in, put it on this cushion. Then wait outside in the line. At last, Biff and Chip went into a hall. That was quite thinking, Chip. Said Biff. I wonder who this prince is. He must be in Proman," said Chip. The prince was sitting on a throne. Chip gave him the magnifying glass. "I love it," said the prince. The prince jumped off the throne and looked through the magnifying glass. Tomorrow is an important day, he said. Tomorrow I will be the king. You can call me Henry, but tomorrow 
I will be King Henry. He said, Come with me. He ran out of the hall. Henry ran up some stairs. Come and see my crowns, he said. I want to look at it through this magic glass. Two girls looked at Biff and Chip. We are here to see that the crown is not stolen, said the soldier. Hold you arm up. You must search you. Henry took Biff and Chip into a small room in a towel. Biff and Chip guessed when they saw the crown. It looks very valuable, said Chip. If it was stolen, I could not become king, said Henry. But it is safe in this towel. Nobody could take it from here. Henry took Beef and Chip to see his horse. I shall write him when I become king tomorrow, he said. Suddenly, they heard shouting. Road can ran up to the Henry. Come quickly, he shouted. Your crown has been stolen. Henry ran back up the stairs into the crown room. The girls were still outside the door. The crown is missing, said the girls. How can it be missing? asked Henry. We don't know, said a girl. Nobody has been here except you. I know who stole it. Said Lord Ken. These children have stolen it, said Lord Ken. When done, they use magic to do it. Throw them in the prison at once. Oh, said Biff. Now we are in trouble. Now read part two. The end. The Stolen Crown Part 1 and The Stolen Crown Part 2 Bye-bye!